This important health news is brought to you by Tyson Meats. Some important health news tonight about something in the foods a lot of us eat that could be a contributing factor for lung cancer. New evidence suggests a diet heavy in certain carbs might also play a role for non-smokers. Are you kidding me? Certain foods that quickly elevate a person's blood sugar level, so-called high glycemic foods, two times as likely to develop lung cancer if they'd eaten foods high in starches and sugars, mostly processed foods. Uh-huh. Processed food. Why would you think this has anything to do with carbs? Researchers believe the sudden blood sugar spike can affect the way cells grow. You made that out. What this does is it causes insulin resistance in the cells and the Whoa, I know she made that up. As I'm writing in my upcoming book, science has linked fat to insulin problems. Now, I suspect Captain Jack's going to come out ahead in this story, too. You can find some clues if you rewind a little bit and focus in on some of the more subtle language. Researchers believe, researchers believe new evidence suggests, suggests might also play a role, suggests evidence might, might play a role, might, might believe. So they got nothing. Of course, carbs are a contributing factor. Now, what kind of carbs are they talking about? Quite breads and bagels, popcorn, cornflakes, saltines, and pretzels. Yes, those foods do have carbs in them. As a matter of fact, they're carb-based. But the answer to their question is no. Carbs do not cause cancer. They just made it sound like it. And notice all those foods they listed. The rare junk foods that don't have any fat in it. In fact, it was the pink elephant in the newsroom. Of course, this study wasn't about fat. Those foods that they studied, those are pretty common foods, and everyone eats carbs. But what else do you think those people might have been eating that the scientists just didn't focus on? Post your answers below. And also share this video around on social media and YouTube. Putting half-truths together. For instance, he says some crazy shit. Our grandmothers knew. Do <laughs> you know where this is going? At first he said something like, well, just 200 years ago, people were still eating unprocessed foods or natural. But then, uh, <laughs> this, this is even stupider now that I'm saying it out loud. Westerners started developing and processing grains, corn, wheat, and soy. Oh, he said, those, those three things, he... <laughs> started using the manipulative tactic of saying there's a reason those three foods are made in such abundance and it's not because they're good for us it's because